So in this lecture, we talk about mobile marketing. As digital marketing becomes increasingly sophisticated, consumers are beginning to utilize mobile devices uh, such as smartphones or iPads. Uh, these are highly functional uh, communication devices connecting to pretty much everything in the virtual world. In industries such as hotels, airlines, and car rental agencies, mobile phones have become the primary method for them to book reservations and communicate about their services with their customers. They can act as airline boarding passes, GPS devices, they can even unlock your hotel room. Other marketers uh, use mobile phones that include sending shoppers timely messages related to discounts, shopping opportunities they might find. This mobile marketing area is exploding, as you might guess. Uh, it was estimated that in, in 2014, marketers spent 31, over $31 billion on mobile marketing. To avoid being left behind, brands have to recognize the importance of using this marketing channel. E-commerce sales on smartphones is also growing rapidly. Sales or have esti will estimate are estimated to reach $638 billion, two-thirds of a trillion dollars by 2018. This makes this essential for companies to understand how to use their mobile tools to create their effective marketing campaigns. This figure shows uh, how mobile phones uh, break down who owns the different phones, different age groups, as well as the, uh, the income of various ones. And you could see how, uh, how there's, a, it, there's a, a move towards the younger crowd and of course also the wealthier people. That's where the, this whole new marketing is, uh, is centered, something to consider. Some of the more common marketing tools that are used on smartphones are SMS messages. Uh, these are the, uh, the, the, the used to be text messages, but since you can include things like photos and the like, they're SMS messages, 160 words of le or less. Um, they can send coupons or whatever. As multimedia messages also takes it a step further, provides video, audio, photos, and the like. Uh, message that can be sent. Um, Gap, the Gap uses Instagram Direct as they uh, as an outlet for their uh, What I Wore Today campaign, which is a hashtag WIWT campaign, allowing users to win um, a denim tablet case or other kinds of promotional activities. Uh, there's mobile advertisements that uh, can show up these are visual advertisements that might appear on mobile devices. Uh, companies can choose to advertise through in search engines and the like that show up. They come some show up at the bottom of your phone. The phone is becoming a tool that's with everybody a lot, all the time. And the, the um, manufacturers or the, the marketers can present their, their sales or their wares to you where you are and when you need them. When you need gasoline, you're driving along the highway, it, it could tell you when there's a gas station nearby. These are the sorts of things that will be happening in this kind of a marketplace. Uh, just continuing, uh, we have mobile websites that are designed specifically for use on mobile devices so you can use them. There's uh, location-based networks that tell that know where you are and therefore can provide specific information about what's available at that place, like Foursquare is an example of that. Um, Foursquare partnered with Visa and MasterCard to provide local discounts when you are when you check into a place, like a Dunkin' Donuts or a Burger King. Uh, then you have mobile applications known as apps, software programs that run on the phones give users specialized content or to solve a particular problem locally as they um, as you go about your business. Uh, I'm sure there's many other things that you could think about that fit into these categories. And again, this is one of those areas that it's not, even the best marketers aren't really clear where all of this is going, but it certainly has a huge uh, future for us. Let's just dive a little more into apps. Applications. They add this entirely new layer into the marketing environment uh, because there are little computer programs that run on for specific things on your phone. Uh, they create an environment. Uh, half of Americans have uh, cell phones and th therefore there's ways to get to them and provide additional messages about your marketing. The most important features of apps is that they're fast and convenient and they save money for people. Um, 
58% of American adults had smartphones in 2014, so business can't really afford not to be interacting with their customers using these kinds of new trends. Uh, they're beginning to use marketing, mobile marketing methods to offer incentives to consumers. Uh, they're carrying it with it, carrying their phone or their marketing, uh, the potential marketing message machine, if you will, with them all the time. Uh, other markets, other things people are using are QR codes. These are these uh, those black and white uh, kind of square blobs that you see that you can actually use your smartphone, connect on that, and it'll take you right to a website. Uh, provide magazines and posters uh, you would have with QR codes so you can make them come alive, if you will, on your smartphone. Um, many of these codes are, are very useful to augmenting a physical message with a virtual message. Um, you recognize, the phone recognizes the code and then can go in and find some virtual material that can either even enhance the, the marketing message even further if someone is interested in learning more about the problem, about the issue. Another interesting trend to keep in mind is, a, is this idea we've probably heard of of Bitcoin and the technology behind Bitcoin, which is called blockchain. Uh, these are ways to keep track of transactions so that people start to have trust in the uh, exchanges that are occurring across uh, social networks. Um, Bitcoin is a peer-to-peer -peer currency. It's used to make payments via smartphone and other things. Uh, some small organizations or some organizations have begun to use Bitcoin or allow Bitcoin for transactions. Um, there are money transmission laws associated with uh, this technology. There's some regulation that's happening, which uh, is yet to play out. Uh, but Bitcoin also fl uh, fluctuates in its value. It's kind of like a virtual gold. It goes up and down in value depending upon a situation. Um, so it's an interesting thing to um, to keep track of. It's not this, this kind of currency is not backed by any country or or central bank. It's uh, backed by a bunch of network of volunteer coders. Um, it's a totally separate subject that we uh, when we could talk about. Uh, separately or you might want to explore a little bit on the internet but it's something to be aware of this whole idea of, uh, of Bitcoin and how it might impact things going forward another area of, uh, uh, of development or things to know about are things that are called widgets these are small bits of software that exist on a website or a desktop um, the mobile device then performs the, the coding process and the, 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 the application of the widget will do some work for you, like it, get your stock quotes or that sort of thing. Marketers can use uh, widgets to, that they put in their websites to keep the least, most recent headlines available or if they have information about you when you log in, they could use the widget to display information that's specifically targeted to what you, what you were last searching for on the internet, things like that. They've been used by companies like television networks um, to help with viral marketing campaigns. Users can download widgets and set them, send them to their friends to, on a click button. The widget does something. Um, they're interactive digital marketing tools. So, you know, that's not necessarily how they were originally designed, but they're actually little programs. So you're not just getting video that plays, you're getting a program that you use to perform some function on the internet. Um, and those widgets can be, you know, uh, embedded in code or they can be sent to your phone or whatever. Um, there's also some risk there of malware. So you have to watch out a little bit for them, but that's another thing that's out there that you'll hear about and which as a marketing manager, you'll have to look into. Um, so in the next lecture, we'll talk a little bit about some strategies for reaching the digital consumer.